Little Sacrifice Baptist Church. Uh, we are so glad that you're here this morning. I want to remind you, if you've not grabbed the Sacrifice Heart yet this morning, make sure you do that, at least before you leave, so that you'll know uh, some of the different things that are going on. Uh, there's a lot of different little things in here, and so I'm not going to uh, kind of note all of them. I just want to kind of point you to a couple of important things. One of the things you'll see inside of there is uh, Celebrating Daisy on the 27th. Which, that was yesterday, right? I don't even know what today's date is. Um, so yesterday we uh, marked the, the three-year anniversary of Daisy Godby being uh, here with us as our learning center director. And so just a reminder, if you see her at some point this week or if you want to call here and, uh, and get in touch with her, just let her know how much you appreciate um, all that she has done to, uh, to bless the children of this community uh, and of this ministry that, uh, that we, uh, we have here in the learning center. So just a great thing. But also you'll see kind of to the left of that that they, they also need uh, some different items. They need plastic grocery bags, uh, paper towel tubes, crafts, uh, craft sticks of all sizes, blue sticks, pencils, writing toys for two-year-olds. So if you've got some of that stuff kind of laying around your house and you're not using it, uh, then they would definitely uh, put it to good use and wear it out. Um, and so if you have those things, kind of, you can bring them by the office. You can even bring them by um, on Sunday morning. Leave them in the office, however that looks for you. Or come by and just kind of see what goes on in the learning center. That would be a, a great opportunity as well. This coming Saturday is men's breakfast. And so uh, if you are interested in, in being here at 8 o'clock Saturday morning, it's the first Saturday of every month. And that's coming up this week. And so um, if you are interested in that, men's breakfast on uh, on Saturday. Uh, again, a couple other handful of things in there that you want to uh, be sure to look at. Learning center hiring, a nursing worker we're looking for. And so if you uh, are looking for some of those opportunities or know somebody that is, kind of point them in that right direction. Last but definitely not least, there's the tear out section of your Sacrifice Heart. And so if you're going to eat with us on Wednesday night, pizza, tea, and dessert, make sure you fill that out, tear it off, put it in the offering plate when it comes by later this morning. Or if you are our guest this morning, uh, you want more information about the church, you uh, have to make a decision at some point in the service today, fill that information section out, tear it off, put it in the offering plate when it comes by. So once again, welcome, and I'll turn it over to Dave. As we uh, come to a time of worship and seeking the Lord, always it involves His Word. And as you look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, you find this. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. Oh Christ, the solid rock I stand. Let us stand as we sing, please. Yeah. 
example in the things that you have spoken. We are blessed. And we want to thank you for that. Lord God, as we look to the days ahead, we know that even our future, you've already spoken about. You've already laid it out ahead of us. And we thank you, Lord, that we can rest assured in your presence in your work in our lives as your children. Lord, there may be someone here today who has not yet responded to the good news that you will save them through the completed work of your Son, Jesus Christ. If they'll put their faith and trust in Him and Him alone for salvation. Lord, we ask that you would draw people to yourself today to be saved. Lord, we ask that you would be with all of us who have responded to the gospel. Because we know we wouldn't stay saved if it wasn't for your grace. You keep us. You hold us in your hands, and we praise you and thank you for that today as well. We pray, Lord God, that you would be with our nation. We desperately need you to turn us to yourself. That you would bring a time of repentance and faith to this land that would result in the salvation of millions. And Lord, that you would be with your church and that you would help us to live in such a way that we accurately reflect who you are as God. Or bring revival to the body of Christ in this land. And we pray for those martyrs all around the world, Lord, the families of those people who have made that sacrifice in the kingdom. That you would bless their families, that you would provide for their needs, and that you would help us to do our part to care and to minister. Lord, we do ask that you would be with Everyone today, as they lift up a particular need, a burden, a struggle, a joy, a praise to you in this place. May you respond to each one of those things in a way, Lord God, that would cause us to know that you love us. And we thank you for that great love. In Jesus' name.
very unlike mine, where you didn't need anything to lean on. Right? Oh, there's a little, little laugh there. Uh, but I'm so glad that when things don't go as we hope they will go, we have something completely trustworthy to lean on. That foundation that won't give way in that parenting where that soft spot is, he's firm. And he's not going to let us go. And he loves us dearly. He will see us through whatever we go through. Good day.